Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learn This with Mahesh. I'm super excited to share my third recertification in professional data engineering. So took the certification first time in 2018. So took my third recertification in 2024, which is going to expire in 2026. So I, if you have observed it recently, the certifications have been moved into credibly.com. So you can go into it, create an account, all those things. So this is what you can see it. And something which I saw an interesting one was basically verify when you do this, it shows a kind of an animated stuff when it was uh, issued, when it is uh, last updated, all those things. So it very clearly shows it was basically updated on 1st of July 2024. So a small, nice animation just wanted to share that part. So going back. So I wanted to share some of the observations which I saw in the exam which I took. So before we look into that, a quick shout out. So I'm starting my batch four on professional data engineering, something which is related to the certification which I took recently. So this is going to start from 20th of July. So it's going to be 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, Indian Standard Time. The details are shown here. It is going to be for maximum 30 learners. So price i'll share it in the next two slides from now so the details if you have still questions basically you can reach out to me on this email address learn this with mahesh at the rate gmail.com or directly whatsapp me on this number similarly i'm also starting professional cloud architect customized training so which is my batch 11 so this is going to be in the morning time so both are starting on the same day so cloud architect is going to be during the morning time the data engineering is going to be in the evening time so the details are on the screen so if you are interested you can uh, express your uh, interest by going into my website so learn gcb with mahesh.com i'll put the link in the website so you can look into some of the testimonials like what people are saying all those kind of stuff so if you go to the services so you should get the details about the stuffs so where this is the one which i mentioned the cloud architect which is going to start which is going to start on 20th of uh, this thing july so if you want to see the course curriculum you'll get to know the details of it so I have mentioned eight months, but I have taken it as 10 months. The reason is there could be sometimes uh, holidays, festivals, kind of a stuff where, or I may be off because I'm not feeling well, those kind of stuff. So I've taken that buffer to make it like 10 months. So this is the detailed stuff, which you'll get it. And if you wanted to know the price, it's going to be 30,000 Indian rupee. And if you are interested, you can click on this. It's going to open up a google form where you can mention your email address and the mode of payment so you're not going to do the payment right away so i'm just collecting the people who are interested in it so based on that so we should be able to start on 20th of june on the similar lines for data engineering also you will get to know the course curriculum so you can click on this you should know the details here so what is going to be covered similarly the price is going to be twenty nine thousand. If you are interested on, on registering for professional data engineer course, you can click on this form. It is going to open up for the batch course. So if you are go, if you are interested in both of them, you can fill both. You take a call. So that's a quick shout out which I wanted to share about the new co batches, which is going to be starting from twentieth of July. Now some of the observations which I had seen basically is. On the data engineering so whenever we think of data engineering uh, the focus is primarily going to be big data and analytics section heavy questions are heavy number of questions are going to be coming from big query data flow data proc cloud composer all those things that's the expectation so uh, for my surprise so what i understood is focusing on networking and monitoring is also important so uh, the kind of question which i saw was really mind blown so uh, if you just go to GCP PDE, so go to the official guide, exam guide, there they mention networking. So you need to know networking fundamentals, Google Cloud Networking. So two places is where I can see something on networking, two. But to be very frank, the kind of question which I got is not something which is a 
networking fundamentals so a little advanced is what i would say so and that is the reason why if you see in our uh, curriculum so we would be spending roughly like 10 hours on networking piece so it is going to be more after i saw certain questions which which i saw in the exam so minimum is going to be 10 hours so that is something which i learned so if you are planning for taking uh, like doing a self-study please focus more on networking so even though you are from a data engineering background uh a little more on the networking is always going to be good so i also have a playlist in my channel on uh, networking so uh, worth looking into it if you are going to do a self study monitoring is going to be another important stuff so what kind of stuffs metrics those kind of stuffs is going to be very important sometimes questions on the metrics the specific metrics is also going to pop up in the exam so i received a good number of questions on dataplex which is a new product which was launched so and analytics hub so hub it's not hubs my bad so analytics hub so that's another important stuff so doing a, a exhaustive demonstration on that is going to be very important so similarly in our course we will be doing both the demo so that not only you are clearing the exam but it will be also helpful for your real implementation so that is a key part so both the certifications or the trainings which we are going to take is primarily for clearing the exam that's the primary goal the secondary goal is once you get clear the certification you should be in a position to get into a job get into a new job or an existing job where you can do your day-to-day -day work as a cloud architect as a data engineer that is another important stuff which will be focused and that is one of the main reasons why the course duration is little longer so 256 hours for cloud uh, data engineering uh, close to 318 hours for cloud architect so that's one of the main reasons why it is little elongated so and no questions on machine learning so if you had observed this carefully so the data engineering course was updated so initially there was a good amount of uh, machine learning stuffs they you should be productionizing an ml model that kind of a stuff was there so now it is not much so even in the actual stuff if you go into it and if you look for anything which is on machine learning very simple way of putting it right so machine learning fundamental uh, learning models so preparing more of data feature engineering that is where you can see uh, nothing much on how do you productionize it so primarily products like uh, say for example batch prediction then online prediction so how do you use the feature store those kind of stuffs are not going to be coming here is what i would say uh, knowing a high level concept is going to be good so which we are going to cover in our training also and i got i was lucky i got 50 questions because uh, the official uh, source mentions you will get basically um, 50 to 60 questions so it's a range basically so 50 to 60 questions so so far I have been fortunate every exam which I have taken I have got only 50 questions so um, another important stuff to note here is you may have sometimes uh, multiple select questions so you have to make sure uh, you handle it very carefully so that is very very important so uh, just one question is what I got which is a multi select option so Whenever you see a multi-select option, make sure you answer all the options correctly. So no partial answers are going to be entertained. So uh, this is something which I understood. So if it's A and B is the right answer, if we have marked it as A and C, it is going to be zero marks. So it's not going to be 0 0.5. So be cautious. So I have seen usually uh, around if it, if I get 50 questions, most of the time I've got 50 questions. So it is either last time I got only one question. So uh, previously um, I had seen around five questions. So that is the observation which I had seen. And the last thing which I observed it recently in this exam. So last time when I took it, so it was not allowing me to go to the next question without submitting an answer. So meaning you are supposed to answer all the questions. That was the setup last time when i took it but now when i took it on 24th of june 2024 it was not like that so if you don't know the answer you go click next it goes meaning don't do that because there's no negative marking so make sure you answer every question but by mistake if you skip it will not alert you saying that 
answer this and then proceed further that validation looks like it is removed so please focus on that so there's no harm doing a guess but don't leave any questions unanswered so those are the observations which i saw in my recent professional data engineering certification so hope it was helpful so thank you for watching